Hey, you know how Facebook will say, this is what happened a year ago? It shows you your past memories. I had that happen today, except it wasn't a year ago. It was six years ago, January 13th, 2009. I was still working inside of a heating and air conditioning company at that point in time. It was one I was part owners with. And what happened was one of our technicians, a guy named Jason, gave me a phone call and said, hey, Todd, I've got a system over here that needs to be replaced, and I've got a client that's really, really strange. And I said, strange? Why is she strange? He said, man, she's got possums in her house. <laughs> and I'm like, possums? That sounds a little weird. Why does she have possums? He's like, I don't know. All I know is that she's got an air conditioner that's busted in. There's possums running around everywhere, and it's freaking me out. This particular technician really did not like possums or the idea of rodents. I said, hey, man, I'm on my way. So I went out there, and who I discovered was a lady named Gwen McDad and her possum, Sweet Pea. Actually, this is Gwen. There's her possum sweet pea right there, and that is from January 13th, 2009, if you could see that. So, Gwen McDad has a need. There we go. Gwen McDad has a need. She's got an air conditioning system that's not operating like she wants, and she also has possums. What an interesting combination, right? I wanted to know what's up with the possums, Gwen, so I asked her, what she ended up telling me was that she's an anthropology major at the University of Texas and the possums help her in her field of study. So, there you go. A perfectly reasonable explanation as to why someone would be raising possums in their home. Hey, by the way, if you raise possums in your home and you're not into anthropology, I'm not judging, all right? So the end result was we ended up helping out Gwen. We ended up getting her a brand new air conditioning system installed. She ended up being an awesome person and a great client. And the possums didn't make her weird. It made her interesting. So how does this apply to you? If you're a technician, if you're a professional salesperson, you're in the home and you see something that's unique and outstanding about the homeowner, you should ask questions. You should dig into that. You're going to discover some really awesome things about that individual. And it may be that extra step that you go in relationship building that binds the relationship. And that may be the reason why they purchase from you. By the way, as I mentioned, Jason hated possums and rodents. He told me so. So before I left, I said to Gwen, I said, Gwen, Jason really wants to hold sweet pea, but he's afraid to ask. And wouldn't you know it, she was kind enough to let him hold sweet pea. And yes, I had to get that captured for the future. So uh, I'm nothing if not a person with a sense of humor. Hey guys, so take that learning lesson. Get to know your clients. And this is a great example of really truly taking learning and turning it into earning.